You're about to hear a poem called Pocket Watch, which I wrote when I was 14 and madly in love. Uh, it wasn't pretty, actually. When you're, in a, when you're in a school class my size, which ended up being four people when we graduated, um, you don't date classmates. That just doesn't happen. It's not a very smart thing to do. And when I was writing this song, what I began thinking of was exactly the position that God had within a, a relationship here on earth. Um, so this is kind of an old one that is only mildly embarrassing, but I hope that you like it. If I was coordinated to hold a mic, my notebook, and play the piano at the same time, I would sing it for you, but that will be for another day. Do I have a one on one? I have, that's so convenient. <laughs> I don't see a stand. Uh, so, this is Pocket Watch. Sweet, 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 sweet Pandora. Pulling those string, those things right out of the box made just for you. And oh, my darling Pandora. Pulling those strings, the flirting and flings got me falling again. I think you're crazy. But I must be as crazy as you, because you've got me falling in love, too. And I can't decide which side to buy. Did I make the catch of my life or simply get caught in your eyes? I'm hypnotized, and I don't know why. Can somebody please take her from under my eyes? I'm hypnotized, no matter how hard I try, I can't look away. Because the flare in her hair has got me up in knots, the brush in her brow of a bad time for God. And whenever I'm near, I have reason to fear that I'm standing in the sunspot. She's swinging her hips like a watch on a chain. Her laugh and her smile will drive you insane. When she kisses your neck, you'll discover that this is all a game. Well, happy games, happy games. <laughs> sweet, 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 sweet Pandora. I'm catching on to those tricks and leaving them before you. And don't try to tempt me, Pandora. I've got a new plan. I'm taking the hand of the one who loved me the most from the beginning of time who's always there for me, not just in three-quarter time. The one who answers my prayers, every question, every cry, who so loved the world that he sent his son to die. And now I see what love can truly be. If you're not detecting a transition here, then you haven't been following along. <laughs> I know it's crazy, but I'm no longer following you. I'm asking God what I should say and do. I've made my choice, and I'm sticking to my faith. And if you love me, then this shouldn't be so hard to take. A road map, a street sign, a phone book, a fence line, a stone wall, a stairway, a menu, a survey, a light switch, a chamber, a doorway, a stranger, a poison, a steak knife, a journey through this life. So many choices you force me to make, but I know what I will do. I'm hypnotized, and I don't know why. As long as my heart and soul are tuned to the skies, I'm hypnotized no matter how hard I try. I can't explain how the love from above has let me see the day when I come to find Christ in my faith and his grace. Now the spirit inside has got me on a ride and I'm waiting for that new day. The girls of this world, they've got me on my toes. I stay close to God because only heaven knows how to live and to love and that's the way it goes. The greatest love that I ever chose. And you still drive me wild, but I'm wild with glee. But the Father watching both of us loves both you and me. And if you love God more than you could ever love me, then I can see a brand new romance waiting to be. I'm such a nerd. So if you're wondering why I wasn't, you know, I wasn't really catching up on like friends or watching television shows back in those days, that's because I was doing this in my room with a pillow right here. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, so.